Hey guys, it's Kate from HealthyPassion.com and I'm back for this week's Friday Five. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday. I know I enjoyed my time with my family and friends and I got some, um, actually a lot of wonderful Friday Five ideas and gifts from some of my friends for Christmas. So I have so many amazing things to share with you all in the next uh, couple of weeks. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, up first is a um, product I have tried before. This was actually a gift and it's Bragg's uh, Apple Cider Vinegar Drinks. Um, I have tried their original and their grape, and um, but this is apple cinnamon. And um, some of the benefits of this drink would be uh, an easy way to get down some apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is so amazing for you. Um, it helps to kind of detoxify you. Um, it helps increase your metabolism, promoting weight loss. Um, it helps balance high cholesterol, um, reduces infection, um, and I mean, the list goes on. So apple cider vinegar is definitely something you want to get into your diet. Um, however, it does not exactly taste great. So that's when these drinks are really uh, come in handy. And of the flavors that I've tried, like I said, the grape um, and the original were both pretty good. This one is pretty good as well. Um, it has little bits of cinnamon floating, and then you can also see the uh, apple cider vinegar. Um, but taste-wise, it starts out tasting great. It tastes like an apple, I guess apple cider or applesauce. Um, but it kind of finishes with that vinegary flavor. So um, of the three, I'd say the grape is probably the easiest to drink. But I don't mind the taste, so I would definitely probably be purchasing this again. Um, for one jar, there's 32 calories, 8 grams of sugar. Um, ingredients are distilled water, apple juice, apple cider vinegar, cinnamon, and stevia. So good ingredients, taste good, um, and you know not a lot of calories. So um, I would definitely recommend trying these if you are new to apple cider vinegar. It's a great way to kind of get started. I also mix uh, a tablespoon with a cup of warm water in the morning and it's a good way to get your day started off right and really just help to kind of aid in digestion and, and really detoxify. So uh, that's number one. Number two, I uh, will do these bars and they're called Bumble Bars. Um, I picked these up at the co-op and I've had these before. I've had the original flavor and it's delicious. It's made from sesame seeds and agave nectar and I think what really drew me to these bars were um, well, actually, first of all, the little bumblebee, I thought it was cute. But then, taste-wise, I love the texture. Uh, they're chewy and crunchy, which is definitely um, a, a texture that I love. This is a chocolate flavor. It's made with brown rice syrup. Um, but as you can see, it kind of bends a little bit and then breaks. So it's really delicious. And uh, these are all sesame seeds and flax seeds in there. Um, and then basically, it's just chocolate, uh, cocoa powder, um, brown rice syrup, uh, crisp brown rice, sea salt, vanilla, so all really good ingredients. Um, the original has some nuts in it, and I think I like the original flavor better. Um, I was surprised this wasn't overly chocolatey. I expected maybe some chocolate chips or something throughout, but there really isn't. Um, but these make a great snack. Um, I think there's like 190 calories. Um, let's see. 5 grams of protein, 10 grams of sugar, 3 grams of fiber, so they're not bad. Um, lower in sugar than a lot of bars, and the sugar does come from the brown rice syrup rather than like a, you know, a white sugar source or high fructose corn syrup. So it does make a good snack. Um, I actually replicated these a few months ago on my blog, uh, the original flavor, and I think they're called crunchy peanut butter bars or something, so uh, log on to healthypassion.com and check those out. They're delicious, and I like them a little thicker. Um, these ones are pretty thin, but... Um, either way, if you see them, I would definitely recommend buying them. <laughs> They're amazing. Alright, so number three, we'll stick with our chocolate theme. I have a couple more chocolate items today. <laughs> um, number three is Justin's. And this is a new product uh, by Justin's. Um, they're organic peanut butter cups. And these are amazing. They taste just like Reese's, but all ingredients that you can pronounce. Um, these are made up of organic dark chocolate. Uh, Organic cocoa butter, uh, peanuts, evaporated cane sugar, palm fruit oil, vanilla, and sea salt. So, um, like I said, much less processed than the traditional Reese's cup, yet they're still delicious and have that creamy peanut butter filling and nice chocolate exterior. They're actually a little bit more rich than a Reese's cup, in my opinion, uh, because of the... Um, the dark chocolate, so I love them. And um, like I said, ingredients are great. Uh, per cup, I think there's 
oh, poured two cups. There's 14 grams of sugar. So sugar's not horrible either. And I like them frozen, so I stick them in my freezer and then pull out one whenever I'm craving something chocolatey and peanut buttery. <laughs> um, Price-wise, though, they are a bit expensive. I think I pay two, at least $2 for two cups. So uh, they'll definitely be a treat, but definitely something that I will enjoy in the future. So yeah, if you see those, check them out. And for some reason, I thought they had an almond butter one. I'm not sure. Uh, whether or not they do, but I will be on the lookout for those as well. I think that'd be a delicious uh, combination. So let's see, that was number three. Let's try number four. Um, these are Snap Pea Crisps. And they were actually a gift from one of my girlfriends who said she absolutely loves these. And I've seen them a million times. I don't think I've ever bought them. So I was kind of excited to try them. And basically they're just peas and they're baked uh, with some corn oil, some salt. Um, and they kind of make a real crunchy snack. Um, they're almost like, I don't know if y'all have ever tried the veggie chips that you can get at like co-ops or fresh market or somewhere like that. And they're real crunchy, crispy, and they're almost addicting. So, um, I was kind of excited that these are pretty low in calories for 22 pieces. It's 130 calories, six grams of fat. There's surprisingly four grams of protein. So they're, um, at least they have some nutrition and then there's three grams of fiber. So, uh, they make a good snack cause you can kind of mindlessly snack and, not really worry about adding up. They're a great alternative to um, like a chip. It kind of curbs their craving for something salty and crunchy. Let's pull one of these out. So I like them. I think they're delicious. Um, you know, not something I'd buy all the time, but I'd probably be purchasing these again in the future. Um, and like I said, they are pretty easy to find. I know I've seen them quite a few places. So if you see them, check them out. If you're into you know, crunchy, crispy snack, or want to just try something new. So that is number four, and those are by Calbee. They're snack salad, snap pea crisps, and these are original flavor. I'd like to see what other flavors they have. They might have some some cool ones. So, yeah, check them out. <laughs> All right, so last but not least, we have another chocolate. Um, as you can see what I've been craving lately. Uh, this was a gift as well, and this is from World Market. It's a dark chocolate spread, and basically this is uh, similar to... Um, I guess like a Nutella almost, but um, I guess not with the hazelnuts, but it's real rich and creamy and the texture I guess reminds me of Nutella. Look at that. Oh, so chocolatey. And this would be good on um, toast. You could put it on bread. Um, I, honestly, I think it'd be delicious on ice cream instead of like a hot fudge sauce. It's like a vegan version of or a dairy free version of hot fudge sauce, but look at that. Really rich and chocolatey. Um, the only issue I had with this was it's made from um, rapeseed oil, which is canola oil, and uh, does have some hydrogenated oils in it. So, got to be careful there. I wouldn't recommend eating it often. Um, it does say zero grams of trans fat, so that means it's definitely less than 0.5 gram. Um, but again, you know, I'd keep it very minimal, a tablespoon or two um, a week at the most. But um, it is delicious. I mean, it's rich, it's chocolatey, it spreads really well. Um, the texture is amazing. It'd be so good mixed with almond butter, peanut butter. Um, like I said, melted on top of ice cream would be a, a delicious hot fudge sauce alternative. Um, and it's awesome. I don't know if y'all have World Market near you, but if you do, check it out. Um, that's one thing we don't have in Lexington that I would love to have. I go in there every time I'm home and always end up with amazing finds. So, um, but yeah, check it out. It is World Market's dark chocolate spread. And um, I think they had like a dark chocolate strawberry. There was like five or six of them, and I think they all sounded amazing. But like I said, I didn't purchase them because of the hydrogenated oil. But, um, you know, it's a treat. I don't I don't recommend hydrogenated oil much. But, um, you know, if you are going to have it, this would be something I definitely recommend <laughs> splurging on. So that wraps up today's Friday Five. I'd love to hear what you all have been uh, trying. If you had anything cool over the holidays. And if you have any recommendations, I have uh, five more coming up next week. And... Um, they're all really cool, so <laughs> definitely stay tuned, and um, I hope to talk to you guys soon. So leave me some comments, let me know what you think, uh, if you've tried any of these products, and also um, if you try anything cool, I'd love to hear about it. So I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good one. Bye-bye.